Hello and welcome back to the QT Office video tutorials. Today we're going to show you how to create a tax write-off invoice for your Mary Kay business. This is highly similar to creating a normal sales invoice for your business, but we want you to pay as little taxes as you need to. So the first step we're going to do from our home page is we're going to go to the invoice tab here in the gray bar. The next step we will do after we go to the invoice page is that we will click on the create invoice icon. You can locate this different places, right here, right here, or right here. Any of the buttons will bring you to the same location which is of course the create invoice page. Now we're here in the create invoice page, I'd like to point your attention to this little section of the box right here next to sales. There is a drop down box right here that says normal sale right now which is what you'd normally keep for creating any normal sale which is a sales to a customer. The drop down box gives you a lot of different choices. And notice the text here is in red. The red is signaling that this is going to be a tax write off invoice. Your options here are going to be your demo products and samples, your personal gifts, personal use products, lost, stolen, or damaged goods, your donations to charity, and your hostess gifts or earned gifts. I have a temporary picture here, but your picture will be here and pulled directly from your My Account. So let's go ahead and say that we're going to create a demo product invoice. You'll notice that the customer automatically goes to personal invoice. This is because this is a tax write-off invoice and it's not going to be filed underneath any customer. If you need to put in an old invoice from a previous date, you can do so. But as I'm shooting this video on March 30th, we will keep it here. So now we'll just need to find out which product we'd like to add to our invoice. As always, we have the check boxes here, only on hand, current active products, discontinued, and section 2, which is current and discontinued. I'm going to use a downtown brown cream lipstick for my tax write-off invoice. I'm only going to use this one product, but you can always add multiple products to the invoice. I'm going to leave the paid in full box checked. This math will be calculated for you later. We'll hit continue. You can do a product review for your invoice here. And after I hit the confirm button, this will be removed. Now I'm back to see my invoices that I have here. Let's go to view personal invoices. And you'll see the demo product samples invoice that I just created on today's date, which is March 30th, and how much the invoice was. Another really good part about this is if we go under expenses, we can pull up our tax sheet, which is right here. And this will have a running total for our tax year, which you can actually look back to previous years, but this will have a running total for our tax year. So I'm going to look under demo products and samples, and you can see it says 650. You might be curious to why it says 650 instead of the entire $13. Well this is because I've already paid the wholesale amount and that expense has already been tracked when I imported my items for the first time. After you create more demo invoices, donation invoices, gifts or anything like that that's actually a tax write off, these numbers will pull for you and you can print this out and bring it right to your account. And the print or email features are right here at the top. This is just one more way QT is making your business beautiful.